I think the Dallas Mavericks is an elite team in a Western Conference this year. And I know it sounds a little bit crazy because, you know, they're sitting, what, eighth in the uh, West right now or ninth in the West right now. They're, they're looking pretty bad in the standings right now when it comes to the Western Conference. So I get why people may laugh a little bit when I say the Dallas Mavericks may go to the finals. But hear me out here. They've had some injuries on this course of the season so far. Kyrie was out for a little bit. Luka had some time where he wasn't playing a little bit. And it also took them a little bit of time to just get into a groove and really feel for each other's playing style and feel for um, the new members who joined during the trade deadline, PJ Washington. Like, there's been a few different things that where they had to figure it out, you know? Like, everything doesn't just snap and turn perfect. But above all of that... I think Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving are perfectly enough to get the job done, bro. Hear me and hear me clearly. I know it's going to sound a little bit crazy, but Kyrie Irving playing with Luka Doncic gives me Bron and Kyrie vibes back in Cleveland in 2016. I know it's a little bit crazy to even consider this as somewhat of a similar duo, but hear me, bro. Look, I'm saying because Kyrie is playing with somebody who is like not ball dominant, but can control the offensive tempo, can score from anywhere on the floor, can score whenever he wants to, can shoot the blood out the ball. It helps his game a lot because now Kyrie is just able to play off the ball. He's able to score at will, play one-on-one -on -one if he wants to, slash, cut to the rim, get easy buckets. And this is just ultimately wreaking havoc on other teams' defenses. Because picture this. Back in 2016, Kyrie playing with Bron, it was a solid one-two punch because you had Bron, you had Bron who can do every single thing on the offensive end. Luka? What can he do on the offensive end? You tell me. I'm not saying he is LeBron at all. I'm not making that comparison, but I'm just saying, what can he do on the offensive end? He can pass. He can shoot. He can post up. He can find others. He can get other people open. And when it just so happens that one of the people you're getting open is Kyrie Irving, oh, it's lethal. It's 20-plus points each game. <laughs> it's lethal. And then Kyrie, on the other hand, just being the guy who, who's doing what he does best, just scoring the ball without having to actually be the leader of the offense, it's tremendous because we've seen Kyrie try to be the leader of offense when he was in Boston, and it did not look good. I mean, I know there was some speculation about the, the standard of the team. I still think Brad Stevens could have probably cooked up a little bit of a better game plan um, when he had that roster, but ultimately... It did not look good when Kyrie had to be the leader of the team. We've seen Kyrie at his best anytime he's been number two, anytime he's been that sidekick to some sort of co-star on the team. And right now, with Luka Doncic being the head of the team, the head of the offense who's running the show, and Kyrie Irving being the sidekick, the number two option, which isn't a bad thing, it's a beautiful offensive process right now. Even the guys who are other role players on this team, it looks beautiful. Everyone understands their role. Everyone is following the lead from Luka to Kyrie and on and on and on. You see P.J. Washington playing his role. You see Tim Hardaway Jr. playing his role. You see the bigs staying in line, playing defense and rebounding the ball without anything more. Like, it, it, it looks amazing from the Dallas Mavericks. And I'm going to just say this, bro. I, I would not be surprised if they end up going to the finals. Um, it's really going to depend on who they play this postseason and, and where they finish in the standings and the rankings of who they'll play. Because, I mean, Luka has already had his playoff experience. He's beaten teams in the playoff by himself. So I know he's he's ready to go to the next level. Kyrie has already won a championship. He's ready to go back and win it again. The other guy, like... Luka has been with the same group of guys for a large majority of the time. So they have the experience of losing in the playoffs. And, and I think if things go right, we could definitely see the Dallas Mavericks in the finals. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I seen the Dallas Mavericks go to the NBA finals this year.